Do you remember anything about the U.S. Supreme Court case known as Kelo versus City of New London? If so, you'll remember that it established the legality of the government taking private property and conveying it to a different private owner using the power of eminent domain. You may also remember that the private developer who got the Kelo property did nothing with it and Suzette Kelo got no compensation. Are you kidding me? The concept of eminent domain is a feature of the Fifth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, and its intent has always been understood to mean that government can force an individual to sell it property at a fair value if that property is needed for the public good. Usually, the inference is land for use to build a highway, an airport, or the like. The Kelo decision set that concept on its head when it expanded our understanding of eminent domain to include taking land for use by a private, profit-making entity because the government felt that a shopping mall or office building would be beneficial to the public good. Well, kudos to Ro Rhode Island Senators Cody, Archambault, Pagliarini, and Kettle. They sponsored Senate Bill 2409, which explicitly returns the idea to its pre-Kilo standards of municipal developments of purely public infrastructure. Good job, gentlemen. But we should also offer the raspberries to the Senate Judiciary Committee for recommending that the measure be held for further study. Boo! I think I see the shadow of Roadmap RI looming over this decision. If the Agenda 21 driven vision of the state planning office is to concentrate Rhode Island's population and take privately held land for return to wilderness conditions, Kevin Flynn and his acolytes are going to need all the flexibility they can get when it comes to taking real property. Are you kidding me? Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34, Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sundays at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash commonsenseri. You can also find us on Facebook as Common Sense of Rhode Island and on Twitter at ampersand commonsenseri.